Hello, hello, one and all. My name is Ashley McPherson. Welcome to another episode of Friday Night Drinks. Last week, we ventured north for an episode all about England. This week, we venture north again, but not quite so far as last time, because we're only going to America. Yes, it's the Americana episode where all of the questions are themed around taking all bets, America. And joining us on either side, sitting us on either, uh, sitting on either side of us of this 20-hour plane ride, I stuffed it up, are our team captains, Stephanie Everson-Williams and Joey Philpott. Now, Steph, you're looking very baseball-y tonight. Yes. Are you a baseball fan? No. No. Uh, but I, re I was given this uh, top when I was in New York, and this is a really quite bad uh, baseball team. So, but hopefully it will give us some luck tonight, hey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So a really bad baseball team is going to give you skills. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully that strategy will work We like for an you. underdog. It's good. True. It's good. Joey, have you been to the US? Never been to the US, Ashley. I've Hadn't never, been... uh, never left Australia. But uh, I like a lot of American TV. And uh, I hope to, hope to settle down there one day, maybe live there for a year, maybe try out LA or something like that. That'll be nice. She's been to England, she's been to US, she's got one up on you in all of those areas. As always. <laughs> And tonight, joining Stephanie, we have Liam Gordas. Joining Joey, we have Tess Dobre. Liam, are you a baseball fan? You've got your coach there all decked out in her gear. Uh, no, not really. No. no. What about, what about <coughs> American TV? Joey raised it before. Got that, got that down. Got and that I've covered. been to America as well, so... Oh, well, there you go. Tess, have you left Australian borders? I have, I have. I've been to America. Uh, was, I think, about four or five years ago, but that doesn't count. Been on the soil, so I think that that's going to help us bring our A game today. Being on the soil, we'll have to scrape some of that soil off your shoes and hope that it, in, uh, hope that it uh, improves your chances today. Before we go any further, let's step inside the saloon of our wonderful bar staff, Matthew and Veronica. <laughs> Matthew, what's on the menu tonight? Yeah, Ash, I have a fantastic drink for you today. I've got a beer in a frat boy cup with a ping pong ball in it. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love, you've been waiting all week to put on that voice. I've been waiting for this uh, We all need to go to week, accent week. class. This is great. Yeah. Just the last two weeks really show our Oh, yeah. Oh, our lack. I mean, I was the one Delicious. doing all the accents. I don't know how to take that. That's a special one for you, Steph. Oh. So we've got ping pong balls floating in it. We certainly do. Right. Excellent. He loves his floaties. Well, thank you for that, Matthew oh. and Veronica. And as always, you at home can find out how to mix this week's beverage <laughs> by visiting our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Friday Night Drinks TV. But as for the rest of us, how would you like to uh, answer some questions? What's your... I'd oh. like to get them right. That'd, that'd, be, that'd be great. I was just wondering... Well, thank you for that rousing response. Let's kick things off with our warm-up round. Mm -hmm. Basic Q&A. Hands on the buzzers. Mm. Wipe them off if you've Good. been playing with your ping-pong ball. We almost had a <laughs> spillage. That would have been pretty epic. OK. Question one. The Statue of Liberty holds a torch in which hand? Greens. Left. Uh, no. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, is, it, is indeed the, it is indeed the right. I won't give you the, the follow-up points for getting that question right um, after they got it wrong. Question two. Name the actor and comedian that starred as Mork in Mork and Mindy. Barstaff. Robin Williams? It was indeed Robin Williams. The Barstaff are on the board. In 2009, which professional golfer was caught out? Greens. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods indeed for having numerous affairs and took a break from golfing. Who is the father and son acting duo that starred in The Pursuit? Eh. Greens. Will Smith and Jaden Smith? Jaden Smith, Smith. yes. Smith. Will and Jaden Smith, correct. All right. Name the African-American known for refusing to give up her seat in a bus in the coloured section when a white passenger boarded. Was that a buzz, oh, Greens? I, 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 oh, she, she slipped a little bit maybe, Look, but she I, did buzz. I, I'll give it. You give it to the, the Reds. Points. Okay, go on. The they need the um, points. Rosa Parks. Rosa yeah. Parks is yes! on the board. Go, girl. High five up high. It's like Red Team might actually no. get, a, get a win this today. But they may indeed. They you, know, you, you watch your mouth. Question six. <laughs> Which American Idol runner-up was nominated for a 2011 Best Male Pop Vocal Performance for his hit What Do You Want From Me? <laughs> Bars. Adam Start. Lambert. Adam Lambert, indeed. They're very good. Once again, the bar stuff. Name the actor that plays Lucius Fox in the Christopher Nolan... Yes, Reds. Um, what's his name? Um, That's what I asked. From, you know, the black man. From, um... <laughs> oh, no! Morgan Bailey. Freeman. Sorry. Morgan, Morgan yes. Freeman. That is a much more politically correct I, way to I, refer to him. I, I, 
Okay. They get that. They did indeed, yes. They do get the points for that, and they also get, you know, quite a few um, PC points, yeah. I suppose. Ping pong bully. For odd one out, let's pretend that never happened. That ends the warm-up round. Odd one out. Which of the following is the odd one out? <laughs> McDonald's, Pizza Hut or Hungry Jack's? Greens. You buzzed before I even got them all out. Uh, Hungry Jack's because it's... a. It's Australian. Very, co very yeah. correct. The rest of them are uh, international. Hungry Jacks is the Australian version of Burger King. Yes. Who is the odd one out? Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, and Kanye West. Who was that one? That was the Reds. You did it. Um, <laughs> Kanye West, because it's a hip hop. Rap. It, is, it is not Kanye West. He didn't say what I thought he was going to say. Who was that one go? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else want to have a go? <laughs> Stuff. We still on air? Yep. So it wasn't Kanye West? It was not Kanye West. <laughs> Be Bieber or Timberlake? Uh, so was it Justin Bieber? It is Justin Bieber because he is from Canada. He is from Canada. And he's the youngest? He's also anyway. prepubescent. <laughs> odd, which is the odd one out? Sharknado, Sharktopus, Dino Shark or Sharkaconda? Uh, Greens. Sharkaconda. Why? Shark Conda, why it's, indeed? It's not one of those, not a real film. It's not it? a real film. I don't know how <laughs> the you other knew three that. are. Yeah. <laughs> Shark and Conda oh, is no. not and you've a real seen film. The other films? Are they good? No, they they're not good. It. They make like 20 films a year or something, that, that company. It's okay. ridiculous. And they're all like um, that. Amazing. Like Shark the Puss and Sharknado. A shark and a tornado. Interesting. Well, one, <laughs> on that note, it's time to play Guess the Movie. I wonder if any of those films will come up. You'll be right on, right on the money. I will give you an obscure description of a film or TV show. Buzz in if you can guess it. Here we go. Hands on buzzers. Four work colleagues go for a trip downriver where the locals have a real fun time. Bar staff? Tom Sawyer. Not Tom Sawyer, <laughs> no. Greens? No sharks involved. Go down. Stand by me. Not stand by me. Do the reds? It's well open, wide open for you guys. If you want to have a crack. Uh, any more clues? No, that's it. I'm afraid. <laughs> on a river, four people on a paddle. No, we'll Don't say no to that one. The answer is deliverance. Deliverance oh. for that one. Um, Here's one more. Uh, guess the film for you. A small town stands in the way of the railroad. A politician wants to buy the land so the railroad can be built. He sends gangs through the town and places a sheriff in town that he believes will fail. Mm, comedy from the 70s. Mm, Blazing yes. Saddles. Blazing Saddles indeed. Yes. So points for the bar staff. We're going to go for a quick score check. The greens are in front at the moment. Four, three and two for the reds. Now a question for you at home. Who holds a Guinness World Record for the fastest person to reach one million followers on Twitter? That's an interesting one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we'll be right back after the break and I'll tell you the answer. Glad you think so. <laughs> oh dear. Welcome back to the American themed episode of Friday Night Drinks. The episode that asks the question, which of the following has proven to be more useful, the USA or the USB? Now, before the break we asked, who holds a Guinness World Record for the fastest to reach one million followers on Twitter? This is an interesting one, so I think, you know, what do you I, reckon? I, I would guess Oprah. Yeah, we think Oprah. Yeah. Somebody controversial, who normally puts their foot in their mouth a lot? Ooh. Guaranteed to say something interesting? Kanye. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually Charlie Sheen. Oh. Charlie Sheen. Okay. Someone who's put his foot in his mouth more times than Joey over here. Now, uh, before we jump back into the madness, let's have a look at the score. The greens are on four, the reds are on two, the bar staff are on three points. Anyone's game at this stage. Let's move on to our next round, just two seconds. You will hear two seconds of a... Two seconds of a clip for, of a song, which could be a, an American themed song, an American artist perhaps, and you have to guess the name of the song. Mm. Everyone ready? We're ready. All right, clean out your ears. Here's the first one. And the Jay Z song. Oh, Greens, yes. Miley. Yes. Uh, party in the USA. Absol didn't she twerk? Next one. Last night. Oh, Greens again. Can I have that one more time? Oh, no. You were talking at the time, so I'm, I'm going to say no and go to the bar star. Um, that is. um. You know this song, don't you? Oh. It's the, um, what's her name? Um, Indeed. Oh, I know it, I know it. Oh, probably. Hey, Evidence to the contrary, Reds. No, can we hear it again? No. You can hear American it again, boy. just for you. Yeah, it is. American boy. Oh. I've, I've, American boy. I am going to give it to the bar staff yes. because they did, they did buzz in. That was legit. 
uh, j oh, oh, American Boy by Estelle, featuring Sweet. Kanye West. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Man of the moment. Here's the next one. That was the vast half as well. Fun. Uh, Fun. Has, uh, What's it actually called tonight? What's it called? Yes. It's not called tonight. Uh, what comes we next lyrically? Are young. We are young. Yeah. That'll do. You obviously knew which one it was. Yes. Okay, yeah. next one. Yeah. That is uh, Alicia Keys, New York. Um, it is Alicia Keys. Uh, it's, it's not called that, but uh, yes, I'll give it to you. Uh, uh, Empire State of Mind. Yes. Empire State of Mind. Following. Next one. Oh, who was that? We're going to have to go upstairs. I'm going to give that to the Reds. It's Kanye, my man. <laughs> Your man indeed. Kanye and Jamie Foxx. What's the name of the song? Um, I couldn't even really hear because there was too many buzzers going on at the time. Can we just listen to that again? <laughs> go on. He got Kanye. Let's give it to him. I know it's due. Hey, gold digger. Gold yeah, digger. Right. Yes, indeed. Let's let's move up to move on to another one. Who is not Kanye? Reds again. Uh, it wasn't pink, was it? No. Uh, Tess, not quite sure. Okay, who was second? I believe it was the Greens. I believe that's Katy Perry. Indeed. Mm. Oh. Um, yeah. And that's what what we did in Vegas last night. Let's not talk about Vegas, something about Vegas. Yeah, it's Let's called Waking Up in Vegas, Vegas but I yeah, will okay. give you the point for that. Okay, yeah. now then. We have gone digging around online to find the best and brightest tweets from American celebrities for our next round. Who tweeted that? Everyone, I'm going to read out a tweet. Not tell you who it's by. You tell me. Who tweeted that? Everyone ready? Here's the first one. Feels good waking up in Australia. Greens. Uh, what's that guy who was down recently on The Voice and then he, he there was all that scandal with him smoking in the hotel room. The coach goes um, to And he um, is going out with Nicole Richie. What's his name? What's his name indeed? Oh my gosh, okay, please. Give I've given one. you everything. I'm going to have to go to another wait, wait, wait. team. We got it, we got it. We so got it. It's Blast off. Joel Madden? Joel Madden, yes, it was Joel Madden. Boom. You were absolutely right. You yes. got his entire biography, but not his name. <laughs> <laughs> Who tweeted this? Non fat milk is like an insult to dairy. Uh, mm. Silence. <laughs> Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel, most famous for New Girl. Who tweeted her. this one? I can taste guacamole in our near future. <laughs> Greens, want to have a crack at that one? Will Ferrell? It was not Will Ferrell. Anybody else? Oh, buzz? I'm just going by the way you said it, Tom Hanks. <laughs> I've really got to work on my accent. That was actually, <laughs> that was actually Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> At least I sounded like someone American. We're going to move on to the finish the lyric round now, and the rules are pretty self-explanatory in the title. Once I finish talking, you have to buzz in and finish the lyric. Who knows when I'll finish talking. Here we go. A long, long time ago... <laughs> I haven't finished talking. <laughs> I gave you one instruction. Okay, but you did buzz in. You obviously knew what it was. So I can I still remember how that music used to oh make me smile. God. And I knew if we had the chance that I could make those people dance and maybe they'd be happy for a while. February made me shiver. And That's enough. You passed what you've been up to. Okay, okay. Oh, say can you see. Greens again. On fire with the lyrics. I the That's what ninety nine percent of people sing. However, I'm gonna go with the bar staff. See if I can get the lyrics. Oh say can you yeah, well, I just sing did that. by the Something so brotherly light. You did get the first two light. words by the by the uh, reds? By the Sorry, by the, Ashley. By by the, the sea. No, by the dawn's early light. So I'm going to give that to no one. You, you all got light. pretty roundabout, but unfortunately um, nobody. Now, let's get into who am I. You get fewer points the more clues that you need, starting off for eight points. I would reject scripts that did not emphasise the virtues of responsibility, individualism and masculinity. For six points, I used my media image to push my values. Reds? You can't buzz um, and not look at me. Steven Spielberg? It was not Steven Spielberg. <laughs> and yeah, Tess, that was all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for six points. I used my media image to push my values. These included the freedom to own a gun and anti-abortions. Oh. Bar stuff. Um, he's the head of the NRA and the, the National Rifle Association. Um, is he? Charlton Heston, is it? Charlton yeah. Heston, yeah, correct. Yeah. Got that for six points for the bar stuff. 
six uh, more. Here's an interesting question. When Americans think that uh, owning guns and having guns and bearing arms isn't such a big deal, do they think we're talking about going to the gym and wearing a singlet? <laughs> Food for thought. <laughs> Who am I? For eight points. Ah, yeah. Just got it. <laughs> we're on the same page? OK. Yeah, just got for eight points. Whew. I love my beauty pageants. It's what made me who I am. Reds? Playboy. What's his name? Um, I, could, like. I could let you guess his name, but it's actually incorrect, so I'll oh. stop you there. For six points. Yes? Or you want to go now? I, uh, well, I just heard beauty pageants and I thought Sandra Bullock. Maybe not Sandra Kendrick Bullock. Yard. So this one's... Yes, yes, at the bar is for it, eight is points. Is it Hugh Hefner? It's not Hugh Hefner. Oh, Everyone's out of that one. Okay, that was oh. Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson. So, mm, so everyone, say that. Yeah. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. So okay. Everyone was I'm completely really, you've got the wrong sorry. gender and everything. Everyone. Okay. Who am I? He said he, and I was like, oh, I can do this. Ryan Gosling and I worked together in the '90s on a popular Disney show. For six points, some people call me a bad mother, but I have never hit me baby. Oh. One time. <laughs> Greens. Britney. Yeah, Britney. Britney Spears. <laughs> it was indeed Britney Spears. Huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to have one last. Who am I? <laughs> For eight points. An environmentalist, I now live in Hawaii in a self-sustaining community. Greens? What's that film with Hawaii? It's a person, not a film. Person, not a oh, but he lives in Hawaii. It's he from does. a film? From a... No, nope, it's, a, it's, a, it's a person. It's a person. Shh, indeed, the bar, was it the bar staff that wanted to have a go next? Yes? Yeah, he was, um, he was, gonna, he was running for president. Um, he wrote oh. uh, the, the Truth. Oh, was it? Al Gore. No, no, this guy got running for president. You'll, you'll understand why I find that funny in just a yeah. sec. It was not Al Gore. Um, for six points, I have been arrested several times for possession of marijuana. There we go. <laughs> there we go. For four points, I have been a guest star on shows such as The Simpsons and King of the Hill. For two points, while I am a ginger, yes. no one can say I don't have soul. Oh. Can I have another go? Can the bar staff have another go? No. They can, yes. Let's... It's not Carrot Top, is it? Carrot Top? Yeah, you know that Carrot Top dude with the big fluffy <laughs> hair? He obviously has red, red hair. Red hair. Red you hair. You can't He's actually his mates exactly might call him Carrot Top. Comedian. He's a ginger ninja. Nobody else. Ninja. Nobody I can, else. I, can I have a guess? You can have a guess. I think... I don't know if Tim Minchin is American, but I'm just going to guess Tim Minchin. He's certainly not this, the answer to this question. Willie Nelson is the answer. Oh, Willie Nelson is the answer to that one. OK, but you are still in the lead. You're on 14, Barstaff are on 12, and the Reds are on 3. It's OK, it's OK, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> oh, Joey, it's well, all falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to quickly go to an ad break. Come back for more Friday Night Dreams. <laughs> Last. Welcome back to our American themed edition of Friday Night Drinks. The green team are on 14 points, the red team are on 3 points, and the bar team are on 12 points at the moment. So once again, it's neck and neck between the greens and the bar staff. Now, we're on to our true or false round. Here we go. Quick opportunity to grab some extra points. True or false? Kanye West, Joey, interrupted Taylor hey. Swift. Oh, who was that one? That was the, the Baris. That was the Baris. True, he did rush onto the stage before she could speak, exclaiming that Beyonce had the best video of all time. True or false, at the 2010 MTV Video Music Awards, singer Lady Gaga wore a costume made entirely of fish sticks. That was the Reds. Tess, do you want to have a go at this one? True. No, false, it was oh, meat. It was, it was false, yes. Um, unfortunately, it was <laughs> in, made entirely out of raw meat. It's OK, it's OK. You've got a beer to drown your sorrows. <laughs> True or false, Paris Hilton's debut album reached number three in the US Billboard 200. Oh, Basta. tell me that's false. false. That uh, was false. It was actually number six. However, it did wow. reach number one on the Turkish chart. Number six. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, they must have heard of her in Turkey um, internet, I suppose. Don't, don't want to go there. True or false? Jaws is regarded as the first <laughs> film of New Hollywood's blockbuster era. Greens. That's true. Uh, true, yes. It racked up $100 million in ticket sales and set the bar. Now, true or false? During an episode of season 12 of American Idol, Judge Keith Urban noted to Nicki Minaj that she'd, she'd yet to earn a number one song on the US Billboard Hot 100. Greens? True. It's actually false. Keith oh. Urban's much too nice to mm. do that. It was Mariah Carey that said that to her. Mm. Gee, they, those two. True or false? American film editor Sally Menke edited every Quentin Tarantino film until her death in 2010. Bar staff. That'd be true. Uh, true indeed. That is right. They had a long, ter a long time collaboration. <laughs> true or false? Actress Scarlett Johansson has a twin brother named Hunter. Bar staff again. False. 
That one's actually true. They Damn. do have a... Uh, they, they, she is a twin. <laughs> <laughs> they do have a twin, both of them, each other. True or false? Final true or false? Celebrity news website TMZ were the first to break the report of the death of Michael Jackson. Greens. That's true. They certainly were. The site beat major broadcast and cable outlets because uh, they have less strict, uh, less strict confirmation yeah. standards. Very interesting. Okay, moving on to our lightning round now. Teams buzzing when you know the answer. The questions are very, very quick and fast. Here they come. Which reality star was married for 72 days before getting a tricky divorce? Fast off. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian indeed. Well done, Veronica. How many boyfriends has singer Taylor Swift had so far? Reds? Four. Quite a lot more than that. Higher, uh, higher. Two. Seven or eight or nine. Forty. I can't pick <laughs> one. <laughs> nine. It is nine. Yeah. <laughs> we're oh. back, we're back. Brilliant, they're back, yes. Which child star was thrown into legal battles after stealing... Greens? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, after stealing. After stealing. After stealing. Which there was more to that star? sentence. Lindsay Lohan. You are correct. It was Lindsay Lohan oh, stealing a necklace. Odds. Pretty high. Which singer, <laughs> which singer and comedian power couple got divorced with one party announcing it via text message? Greens again. That was um, uh, Katy Perry and yes. what's his Russell name? Brand. Russell Brand. Russell Brand absolutely got both of them. Here I can't we go. believe how much I know. Amazing. I've been to the doctors too much, looking through the Who magazines. <laughs> name the hairspray... I hope everything's OK. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm Ma sick. <laughs> name the hairspray... Too many beers. Name the hairspray film star that had countless legal issues in 2012. Oh, who was that one? I'm going to have to go with the Baris. Amanda Bynes. It was Amanda Bynes, yes. Oh Recently, allegedly threw a bong out of a 36 apartment floor window. Oh Interesting. She should go to a doctor. Which... <laughs> American reality TV show follows the lives of eight Italian Americans. That was the bar staff. Jersey Shore. Joyzy Shore. Shore. Very, Joyzy very Shore. good. Joyzy Shore. The final question. What surgery did Angelina Jolie undergo? That was the Greens. Well, I was just going to say, are we talking plastic surgery? Well, there was more to that sentence, but I cannot elaborate because you, you buzzed in. I cannot elaborate. Yet. Okay. Well, she was recently quite seconds. ill. What do you think? Do you think it was... I know she had breast cancer, so I'm, I'm wondering whether that was it. One second. Or lips. Uh, no. The bar staff, what was it? Double mastectomy. It was a double mastectomy, and it was because of the breast cancer issue. So that's all for the lightning round. You, you, you said everything, except you for, the, except it, for the, no. the name of the actual uh, surgery. Well, it's time you? to crown tonight's winner. I don't where read those magazines. <laughs> oh, Steph, you're going to hate this. You've lost it again by one point. Oh, my God. 18 to 19, and uh, the Reds bringing up the rear on four points. So the bar staff have once again brought this baby home. Rocker. Oh, indeed. So here's... I just, I just want to thank my mother and everyone else. Oh. You know, thank, thanks, Mother. Form. Thank all your sponsors. Now, here cups. is a nice little, <laughs> uh, a nice large glass that you can play beer pong and bounce ping pong balls into. Because if you've seen the YouTube clip, you'll know that Matt can't manage with anything much smaller. There you go. Oh, that's what <laughs> and can Oh, careful with that. Ooh. Big thanks to our guests tonight, Liam Gordis and Tess Dobre. Thanks for joining us. I've had a lot of fun. Um, thank you for the drinks tonight to Matthew and Veronica over on the bar. Our team captains, as always, Stephanie Everson-Williams and Joey Philpott. I've had an amazing time once again. Thank you, guys. And thank you for joining us uh, at home as well. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, head to the YouTube page to see clips of Matthew making drinks and missing when he plays beer pong. I'm Ashley McPherson. See you for drinks next week for our final episode. Ta-ta. Thank <laughs> you.